Well folks today we've got an eBay purchase. It's a power supply which is a hoe deck. Uh, probably two to three amps, something like that. What made me buy this for too much money off eBay is that I remember seeing these in the CB Master catalogue in 1980 was it before CB came to the UK and I thought it's got a meter on it what do you need a meter on a fixed voltage power supply when I mean, you can just put an LED on the output so I thought we'll buy one of these when I saw it it's in very good condition but of course we're gonna to have to do things to it now I'm using Mr Chippy's Canon stills camera and so we're gonna to have to fiddle with the zoom oh look I fiddled with the zoom a bit and Mr. Chippy, would you like to take the lid off? He's taken the screws out already. No, he hasn't. No, I've got them back in. Oh, right. Yes. Let's see how it was. Now, it's got a label on the front which says 240 volts. And this was a time when a lot of these things were coming in which were 220 volts. Now, we in the UK are now 230 volts, except we're not in this particular building with 244 volts because we're fed by an 11,000 volt to overhead power cable and then there's a transformer on a pole. So we're the only building on our own substation, so to speak, for half a mile. So it's a little bit higher here. And what do you think the problem is? Well, the problem is if the output of the transformer is say 28 volts and we are 10% over, then that comes up to 30.8 volts and so we find that the capacitors in these type of products when the European blow up and what does that say on it it says 220 volts so the sticker to reassure the consumer that it's 240 volts is a lie which is pretty typical of products at that time and yes it's 220 volts well i think what we need to do is to power it up and check on ac it also says on the back it does indeed and check on ac whether the output voltage of the transformer is greater than the capacitor inside and i've just seen that capacitor and it's 25 volt rated so that's going to be an interesting point i wonder if we can zoom this camera in anymore I don't think we can zoom this camera in anymore. No, yes. So. Actually, I'll tell you what you can do. If you just go across the capacitor, mm -hmm. DC. I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And so we're looking at the rectified output. Right. We've got this plug into a watt meter, and I hope Mr. Chippy's just looked at the reading on the watt meter. Yeah, it's not reading really anything, it's Good. got switched on. Now it is to 7.2 watts. Right. So. Uh, 23.8 volts. Well, it's just under, but that's far too close to 25 volts. Um, because it's, it's at full working voltage, isn't it? So we need to change that probably to 35 volts. And does the meter on the front work? Uh, yeah. Wow, well, let's show the camera that. If anybody can see that. <laughs> so the best thing for us to do is to change that capacitor. It's interesting to point, this is in very good condition. Uh, and it's all those years old. Uh, it's ninety. It's twenty. It's twenty eighteen uh, at the moment. And you know, when you consider that's got to be nineteen eighty, it's thirty eight years old. Right. Well, I'll get some capacitors, and we'll come back to the video. Okay. So we've now changed the capacitors, and as you can see, that one is now a black one instead of that one we took out. And we've also changed the small one at the back, which was, uh, that was 2200 microfarads at 25 volts. We've now put a 50 volt one because we had 50s at hand. We'd have put 35 volts in otherwise, which are on order. But I think they're on the slow boat from China. 
the small one was 25 microfarads at 16, not 25, it was 100 microfarads at 16 volts, and we've put 25 volts in. So that's something which is definitely improvement. Now the fuse holder is one of the unsafe types where the fuse comes with the... And normally you'd change these because if that doesn't come out with the cap, you've got the danger of the being mains. Well, it isn't the mains fuse, it's the secondary fuse. So it's only running at 25 volts. Mr. Chippy, you can put that back together. We noticed that the output transistor isn't the expected 2N3055 on the back, but it's a 2SC1051. And if you just put that on its left-hand side, viewers may be able to see that that looks to me like the Sanyo logo. Looking underneath, and it says made in Japan, and so that's something else we haven't seen before. And then we took the printed circuit board out and we discovered that it said what it says on that green sticker KDR 122. KDR 122. And we were putting that on the back. We always put a green sticker on things which we've serviced. When we looked on the internet at KDR 122, we found it brought us to a German branded power supply which was identical. And I suspect this was sold as a two to three amp one because if that's a three amp secondary fuse, it can't be a three to five amp power supply. So I think it's two amps all day long and a surge of three, which is of course quite adequate for UK CBs, uh, which don't uh, normally take more than one and a half amps. So, right, we're ready to power it up for the first time in doing that test. So you got the meter on there. I'll just see if we can get that in view as well. Thirteen point nine nine fourteen is too high. What we didn't know is is that an adjustment? It is, or was it for the meter movement? That isn't. Yeah, that's excellent. Right. So thirteen point eight. It's not on load, so we'll try that. Then I'll do this now. Yeah. And then we'll, if we try it on load, we've got our 21 watt car light bulb, so it's nearly two amps. Normally we put that in a jiffy bag. So right, it's, under but it's, un it's under the bench. It's under the bench, just like Mr. Chippy's legs up instead. I'm glad he's not wearing shorts today. Or it'd say 21 watts on his legs for the next three weeks. Can't get a reading off that, but now, because those plugs have got holes in them to take readings off. Mm. That's what I'm doing. Ah, thirteen point five eight. That's fine. That's excellent. So we've done that power supply. We've made it safe. But um, what we were worried about is it said two forty volts on the back, and it's clipped quite clearly to two twenty volts. So unless you change those capacitors, um, you're going to end up. They're so work near the working voltage that. Um, that would soon be gone. I think this is new old stock. It's got no signs of being used. What do you think, Mr. C? It looks brand new. No, absolutely. Yeah. So it may be all those years old, 38 years old, but we think it's brand new. Right, so we're going to go and do a CB test after this. So uh, we were doing the um, uh, Gson 950 hand portable, and we're going to be doing a back-to-back -back on the air test, having serviced the customer's one and our own as well. So thank you for watching and any of you who have a Hodec one of these power supplies um, that's what you need to do to bring it up to standard KDI 122 we'll put that on the back.